All right, it's 1028. That means it's time for some celebrity dish. All right, we got our ready to love. Our star, Carmen Felder, in the building this morning. What's going on, Carmen? Hello, hello. How you doing? Hey, how, how are you doing? Are you? Good morning to you. Good to see hello. you as always. Good to see you. Hello, What's you going really? on? You look great as always. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. All right. All right. So By the way, can you say ready to love one more time? Ready to love. Is that and the superstar? Yeah. Can you say that one more time, like ready three times? Ready to love superstar. Is that emphasis on the yeah, superstar? on the superstar. Just say superstar by yourself. Yes. Okay, yes. gotcha. Okay, Good all right. to see you. All right, good to see you. Let's get into this. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, the Super Bowl countdown, the big game, isn't for another few weeks, but just moments ago, the NFL announced the pregame entertainment lineup. Country star Chris Stapleton, well, he's going to perform the national anthem. Babyface, he's going to perform Ooh. America the Beautiful. And oh, Shirley okay. Ralph will perform Lift Every Voice and Sing. Of course, we already know Rihanna's doing a halftime show. Uh, just a reminder, you can watch the big game right here on Fox 5. So what do you think about this lineup for the pregame? We already know about Rihanna at halftime. We got, you got eyes on that. But the pregame. You know I'm excited. Okay. When you said baby face, that's all you had to say. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think some babies will be made while baby face. <laughs> well, while well, baby face is <laughs> Or babies that were made when he first came out yeah. will be celebrating. Right. right. Well, that's true. Yeah. 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 I love me some baby face. I wonder what made them pick baby uh, You know what? Face. I know that's a good question. Yeah. That's a good question. Okay. I mean, you think he's um, I know Shirley Ralph is 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 hot right now because of. Uh, all her accomplishments in, in recent memory. but mm -hmm. this, So that's going to be great. So I think it's just all great. That'll be good. I mean, uh, people, eyes will be tuned in. They'll be locked in to this. So this will be a chance to, if, you know, people, and usually what happens is when people perform, whether it's early or at halftime, they're, whatever they're selling, it goes up. Yeah, this they is very true. They sell more. Very true. So it's and I think, isn't this Rihanna's yeah, first time sure after is. the oh, baby? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it's going to be huge. It's going to be a good show. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, next up, it is round two for Real Housewives of Potomac stars Robin and Juan. Let's bring in producer Chris for details on this. Some folks will say finally. I, I'll say, you know, whatever timing works for them is just right. I think that's a great way of looking at it. But they are one of those couples that everyone roots for who is a fan of the Real Housewives of Potomac. That's because they were married, then they got divorced, then they lived together for years in a weird are they or aren't they <laughs> situationship, and then they got engaged again. But a lot of fans wondered and questioned if they would ever actually go through with it. Now we have our answer though, because according to People Magazine, the two officially tied the knot again. And of course, of course, the Bravo cameras were rolling. People also report the wedding will air during the show's upcoming Ooh. season seven finale. So we will get to see all of those blissful details. And then hopefully we can have them in here on guests so that we can celebrate with them. Yeah, that'd be great. I, I'm looking for, I know they mentioned in the show, I'm an episode behind, but they had mentioned that it would be very intimate. Just the kids, Robin and Juan, um, you know, just, just them. So, yeah, and I'm I think she said, like, I, I, I want to say Jamaica, one of the relatives is getting married, so they're doing mm -hmm. it uh, in another country. What do you no. think? I'm excited for him. I just want the fi the finale. Are you getting married or not? I know they've been going up <laughs> oh, and down. Like, right. Just yeah, give me yeah. the memo when you're getting married, and then, you know, I can send a <laughs> guest. Right. Uh, yeah. But I'm super happy for them. Yeah. I've got to be happy for them. Um, they've known each other since college, right. since the college days, and uh, yeah. everything they've been through. So uh, if this is true, good. Uh, that's Congratulations to them, and best of, best of luck. And yeah. we, we'd love to have y'all on. Robin's been on before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'd love to have And we know we got basket, basketball is their business in addition to the reality Absolutely. TV. I know Juan's business is basketball mm -hmm. at Coppin State as a coach there. And also the kids play basketball. So yep. I know they got their hands full. Yep. Yeah. And wisdom that is also the perfect transition into the next story because I'm talking about two basketball legends, Jordan and Pippen, except we are not talking about Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. We are talking about Marcus Jordan and Larsa Pippen mm. because they are Instagram official and I cannot get, wait to get wisdom's reaction oh. to the photo they posted to prove it. Check it out. As you know, Marcus is the son of the NBA legend. Larsa is the ex-wife of his teammate. Larsa captioned the snap of her and her new man saying, quote, checks over stripes, which obviously refers to Nike and its biggest competitor. It's also a line from Drake's lyric on Travis, Travis Scott's sicko mode, but posing directly in front of a Michael Jordan flower <laughs> picture like that. I mean, what is the message to Scottie Pippen there? Ooh. Go ahead. Not, I, well, yes. I think that's called messy boots. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's really messy. Um, I just, I don't like, I don't like that. That you don't like five. you don't like Jordan I, Pippen 2.0. No, you don't like it. I mean, at least they would have a beautiful baby, and it would be very athletic. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, I feel like that's a little taboo. That relationship is a little taboo. 
Uh, it does seem a little shady. <laughs> you don't know what to say. You can't. Yeah, because I, I think it's just. Right? I think it's just. It's it's odd. But you know, whatever. Uh, if they love, if they like each other, love each other, whatever. Good for them. But it does seem odd that Jordan and Pippen, these two, 2.0, would hook up after all the drama with the original Jordan and Pippen and the documentary and all this stuff. And then the next thing you know, these two are together. And then it, it's just. And then like this, the son and the ex-wife. I don't know. That's a little awkward. I agree with you. It's, it's messy, awkward, all, everything. Yeah, shady, you can think messy, of. awkward. Yeah, weird. all of the above. So here's the thing. I think some shady is entertaining, right? Some shady. This yeah. is not. I, I feel like it lacks creativity. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you're gonna be shady, if you're gonna be messy, at least be somewhat creative with it. Yeah. Like you've got the the Jordan jersey right behind you. Right. It's just, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It seems a little forced, but I mean, there have been relationships in the past that we've said, you know, are forced, and they're still going strong, you yeah. know, 10, 15 years later. So yeah. I do think it's a little weird, though. I, I think I could wager that it's not going to last. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's probably too, true, too, because, you know, the original Jordan and Pippen, that didn't last. Right. That didn't last. <laughs> they got some championships out of it. They got rings. So if history is any indication. If history yeah, is any yeah, indication, yeah, Jordan yeah. and Pippen 2.0 won't last, and they might not even get any rings out of it. Well, yeah. she might get a ring. She might, but she won't get as many as the original Jordan and Pippen. Maybe she just wants one. She just wants just one. one big one. But she got to keep it. Well, I guess she will keep it once she gets it. You do get to keep it once you get it, right? I don't, <laughs> I I don't know. Yeah. We, yeah. Well, yeah she's well, like, I'm keeping mine. She's like, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's like, like I know mine. what I would do. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I okay. think I, I can get with that. Yeah, yeah I'm, okay. I'm keeping it. All right. So. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, finally, Kim Kardashian is just as hooked on the White Lotus as the rest of us because on Monday she took to Instagram to announce the brand's new 2023 Valentine's Day collection with uh, features from some of, the, some of the show's actresses you may recognize. Recognize Simona Tabasco and Beatrice Grano, who play Lucia and Mia on the hit HBO series. They're real life uh, BFFs, and Kim says she was such a fan that, quote, I had to have my girls. The limited edition collection by Skims drops this Thursday and features uh, some of the folks there that you um, <laughs> that you saw. And this uh, Valentine's Day themed lingerie also includes some Valentine's Day themed PJs, but really just goes to show what some would say is excellent marketing by Kim Kardashian. I will say, mm -hmm. think what you want about Kim Kardashian. I've heard great things about this brand, the quality, the fit, all of is that. Is that right? Okay. Um, yeah, and White Lotus has been doing really, really well. I watched just the first season. It's a great show. So No, um, I will have to second that. The, um, it, it fits so well. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. comfortable. Now, it is pricey. Yeah. It's going to cost you a, yeah, a little bit. But comfort, I mean, that is so big, especially with women. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to get comfortable. You get home. You want to be in something a little sexy but comfortable, yeah. right? Yeah. So I think that she's doing an amazing job marketing this, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Kardashians and marketing, that's... That's what they do. Listen. Like, they can mar market a pencil. Absolutely. Some to, chewing gum. And yeah. some chewing gum. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you'll buy it, and, and you're like, I don't know why I bought right. it, but they just yeah. said it was and great. And it'll be like $18 for one stick <laughs> of chewing gum. A Kardashian <laughs> stick of gum, $18. Yeah. And everybody will buy it. Yeah. They're, just, they're just brilliant. Now, if they come out with some chewing gum, they owe us some, some well, coins. Yeah. yeah, or they'll just, you know, well, she does, she, did she get a law degree? She's she still oh, working on yeah, She's still working Well, yeah. we probably have some problems trying to, you know, claim the Kardashian <laughs> name anyway. Because I'm sure they, you know, they got some legal stuff going on right. in yeah. the household. Mm. So, yeah, we might be in trouble. We probably should have thought <laughs> that out We clearly got to go back to the drawing board <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, back to the Bobo. drawing board. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming on your online lunch hour, right? Yes. All right. Yeah. We'll see you uh, in just about 20-something minutes. Holly, we'll send it up to you. Yeah. All right. Good stuff down there.